All right, so I'm I'm curious to see what character Jules has been playing. Steve is not banned yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> yet being the key word, so yeah. I can Legal understand. for now. <laughs> but Jules already going to be... Uh, it seems like they're already adapting oh, to God. this new Steve-less world that we're going to be seeing soon. Yeah, I, I can definitely understand why why they want to try their hand in, in some new characters with all the all the controversy going on. So we'll see what they have to bring out here. Eventually. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> Okay, gonna be seeing some Min Min. From Steve to Min Min, quite the, <laughs> quite the switch. And yeah, into PS2 for game one. Yeah, PS2, definitely a very good Min Min stage. You know, the biplats, especially PS2, gives uh, like zoner characters like Min Min such amazing coverage, but you can already see the adaptations coming out from Gen, starting things off by putting an explosive flame right underneath that PS2 platform and putting Jules in pressure. Yeah, wow. Massive damage eventually leading to that edge guard scenario and then the stop just played very, very well there by Jen uh, to secure that first stop. And we'll see, oh, getting a grab. Yep, pivot grab coming out now. Uh, Jules trying to set up some more ledge pressure, utilizing the top hit of that neutral air. Still has... Okay, now I believe the Dragon Laser is offline. Yeah, but another grab, sending it right back mm. up into the kill. Yeah, from, from one super early stop to another, and now we're pretty much even. Um, we'll see who's able to, to take the lead now. And Ooh. another bit of big damage there from Jen. 62% now onto Jules. I love that extension off of the explosive flame. Very stylish stuff from Jen coming out. Yeah, 100%, but Jules not content to just sit there and take it. They want to give out some damage of their own, and big stuff there. Yep, trying to use that Electroshock arm to try and cover the high recovery from Jen, but not quite working out. Yeah, Jen now with the stage control and gets that grab because of it. Yeah, great way out there on the air dodge and secures the stop with the back air. Ooh, we see Jules trying to fight her way in once again using those forward airs, but really gotta really gotta space yourself well against Jen. All right, the, all right, the up smash gonna be catching things and Jules bringing things right back to even once again. Yeah, it's been stock after stock after stock. It hasn't really been even the whole game. It's just been from one massive advantage state to the next, and this could be Jules. Yep, right now it kind of looks like Jules' turn to play the video game. Yeah, definitely. But Jen able to get a couple Ooh. of the drillers there into the two up airs. Not yep. quite able to catch that air dodge though, and Jules able to make it back to stage. That wide uh, hitbox of the up air, catching Jules, trying to dare out of disadvantage. Oh, but the teleport on stage, Jules not quite in position to capitalize on it. But Jen very close to death right now. Jules looking to close things out. The Electroshock Nair not going to be doing it just yet. Yeah, not just, but Jen seems to be stuck at this ledge. Just able to make it back with the weak hit of that dash attack. What a parry. But Jen not able to find anything out of it. Yeah. And yeah, just walking forward with that Electroshock arm. Jules able to take game one over Jen. Yeah, just um, after that super early stop getting taken, um, it, it seemed that, you know, Jules might not be able to make a way back into the game, but really great job of just pushing that advantage state to the extreme and, you know, securing the socks where it mattered. Yeah, just a, a very back and forth game one. Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely two very, like, advantage state characters, especially Palutena, because... You know, you've got all those, uh, pretty much all of her moves connecting to each other. 
and yeah, we'll, we'll see if Jen can make the necessary adjustment to, to try and take this game too. Woo! Running things right back to PS2, and Jules starting off with a statement, uh, recognizing how Jen opened up game one, and just kind of poking in with that dragon laser, just like, hey, you're not getting the start of your game plan. Yeah, um, it's J Jules' turn this time to, to start off with a bit of percent, and it might be Jules who is who is adapted to this. It seems it's going to be really difficult for Jen to, to get in. Yeah, using that Ram Ram, that fast Ram Ram arm to keep Jen out, but finally the neutral air conversions basically yeah. bringing us to an even game. Yeah. Jen doing a great job of uh, connecting those neutral airs together and getting as much percent as possible off of the single interaction. Ooh. Oh, reading the air dodge as well. That is going to be Jen taking a surprise stock lead after what really felt like Jules' game two. Yeah, great awareness there from Jen, waiting out on that air dodge and getting the perfect punish for it. Taking that stock at only about 74% or, or something. Uh, but Jules, not phased, ready to take this one right back. Mm -hmm. I love the idea of the uh, up smash right there from Jules, especially with the charge on it as well. Just didn't quite work out for her. And now Jen is getting to rack up all of this extra credit. Yeah, but Ooh. there you go, Jules. Finally able to take that one, uh, and only 58%. So you know, you know, Min Min can can get that damage super fast. With the neutral air actually beating out the uh, down tilt slide from Min Min, and Jen is continuing to hold this pressure, beating out the tether as well. I love the weight there from Jules. So she's able to make it back into center stage. Gets the grab, which does empower the laser. Yeah, and Jules now having to try and get off this ledge as fast as she can, but great parry there from Jen, and back here, not going to take it quite yet, but Jules seems to be living at this ledge, this stock. Yeah, really hasn't uh, been able to force Jen off of the ledge, and uh, Jen able to now take Jules' second stock. And Jules has not really been able to find that same momentum that we saw in Game 1 or at the start of Game 2. Yeah, definitely. Jen just doing a great job, as we're seeing right now, of, you know, racking up that early percent and making it to a point where Jen, Jen is just pushing the disadvantage very, very well so that Jules isn't able to get that much damage when she does finally get an opening. Right, and once again, Jules stuck at the ledge. This is where Jen has made all of his money in this set and cashing out there with the down air. And Jules smiling about it, having a good time. There you have it. Yeah, a really just great awareness to, to know that uh, Jules would uh, do that air dodge and punishing it very, very well with that down air to, to secure that game too. And yeah, I mean, we talked about adaptation, and Jen's certainly done it, so we'll, we'll see if uh, maybe a stage switch is in order, or if we might be going back to PS2 for this Game 3. Yeah, and that's just kind of, you know, how how adaptation has been working out for Jen, especially on a character like Min Min, who doesn't really have a whole lot of options in disadvantage. So, okay, Jules is going to be taking things to Kalos, the uh, Kalos platforms, going to be offering a little bit more coverage on um, recovery as well. And I believe, does Min Min have a wall jump? Uh, no? Okay. No. <laughs> I don't know, you can never be too sure who has a wall jump in this yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, I, I can see why Jules want to pick the stage. Just just giving Jen less space to move um, might definitely be the right shout. And, yeah, certainly showing it here. Jen uh, just feeling quite suffocated. Uh, Jules', Jules arm is able to reach across so far and, and restrict so much movement. Yeah, Jen was making great use of the PS2 platforms in the previous two games to find his way around the uh, the arms. But with those options taken away, Jen is going to have to make some new adaptations to find his way in. Instead, getting stuck a little bit at the edge with the uh, Kalos platforms. But the down tilt into back air, not going to be taking it quite yet. 
And I love the um, the early use of the uppy from Jules, just getting that little that little hop to mix up your recovery. Because you know, when you're a character like Min Min, who has so few mix ups, you got to use what you can. Yeah, of course. Um, just just goes to show that you know it, it can. It, when, when it comes to a character like Palutena, who can edge guard so well, you need to you need to be able to make those little adaptations in your recovery just to help you from not dying. But that uh, that side B will will definitely take the stock there and back to an even game. Just got caught with like the very last tick from the explosive flame. Jules unfortunately giving up a pretty good early stock lead with not too much extra credit on the board. And using the speed of Palutena to uh, just dash under all this aerial pressure from Jules. Yeah, Jules was maybe getting a, a little too uh, trigger happy on those arms, and Jen just able to run right underneath them uh, and get a bit of that extra damage. But Jules now not quite able to continue the, the terror on stage as Jen comes back with a lovely back here. Woo! Yeah, Jen with some amazing patience on the Kalos platforms because you know when you're on that platform, it's so tempting to want to just kind of jump your way back into center stage. But Jen taking the low road, able to make his way underneath those arms and really uh, put the pressure back onto Jules. Down throw into back air, gonna be putting Jules now on her winner side stock. Yeah, very, very, very good patience here from Jen. It can be, as you said, it can be so tempting just to run straight at Min Min, but Jen waiting for their turn and getting very well rewarded for it. Invincible back here just beating out the Electroshock arm. And now Jules is stuck at the ledge once again. A good neutral air to try and reverse this situation. Shield's looking pretty low from Jen. Has to jump out of shield. Yep, getting that neutral air. Big damage now. A lot of extra credit here packed up for Jen. And Jules gonna need to be securing this stock very soon if she wants to be able to make a comeback into this game and into the set. Yep, 74% on Jules right now. And Jen is really making her work for this second stock. Still not dying to that uh, Electroshock arm. Yeah. Jen just doing a great job of living as long as possible, still not dying. And uh, yeah, Jules doesn't look it, but there you go. Taking that one. 74% on Jules, though. It's going to be a bit of a hill to climb. But if any character can do it, it's definitely Min Min. Absolutely. That being said, though, the neutral air from Jen starting things up and getting to... Just getting to play Jen's game once again. These ledge traps, and I think no, uh, Jules is going to be making it back. I always underestimate that uh, tether recovery from Min Min. Yeah. Oh no. Getting the okay. the empowered arms. This is very scary here for Jen. Oh Charging dear. Up that one. Oh no! Air dodging oh, into man. the late hit of the up smash. Yeah. What an ending. <laughs> The lingering hitbox of that up smash just about able to secure it there. And yeah, really good adaptation there from Jen. Just um, really pushing that advantage state to the extreme and playing a really patient game against the Min Min. Yeah, very good stuff. And that is going to be Jen moving on to fight Zamba in winner's semis. And I believe next up we have our final winner's quarters match of the evening in Carflow versus Gatsby. This is going to be an explosive set. We've got, like, the most momentum-based, probably the most momentum-based Roy in New York City in Carflow up against uh, Gatsby's Falcon. Oh, yeah, that will be a treat to watch. Um, I love, love seeing these, these aggressive sets. Uh especially in a scene where we have it controlled by a Steve and a Kirby as our number, number <laughs> oh, one and two players. Seriously? Yeah. 